Hi guys, another video from myself. Yes, this one I've gotten finished just recently. Uh, some more Piano War Games. 28mm metal Napoleonic Wurtenberg figures. Yeah, I think if any of you seen a previous video and I painted up a couple of the Command figures, the Piano War Games, and very nice they are too. So this is the actual first unit of figures that I've painted. Uh, and these are the Lime Jaeger Guard Cavalry, which very nice they are indeed. Nice uniforms. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed painting these guys. As you can see they've got the, the bear skins on. Nice, a, a dragoon sort of green coloured jacket. Saddle cloths. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'll just, yeah, we spin around guys. Uh, in front, We've got the, the command stand in front here. Just focus in, is it? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got the trumpeter on the white horse there, obviously. <laughs> uh, the officer in the middle on the sort of NCO on the, on the side of the base. Uh, yeah, I think I mentioned before when I had a look through the figures when these arrived, uh, yeah, to go back, it was a Kickstarter project and I I ordered the, the Kickstarter 1 and 2 together, basically. So quite a big order arrived uh, some months ago. And funnily enough, I just got a delivery last night, and that is Piano War Games Kickstarter 3, uh, in which is the Hess Danced figures. So they came in last night. I did have a quick look through the box, but yeah, it was a bit... Uh, it was actually... I think it was early evening the, the guy arrived, I was out walking the dog, so I haven't had a right look yet, but I'm going out, but the look is still up there in a lot better condition this time. Yeah, so going back to that, as I was going to say, so the Kickstarter one, I mean, yeah, the guy packed them really well, I can't complain about the packing of the figures, but some of the swords and the bayonets were very thin metal. Uh, and with the latest Kickstarter, I've noticed that the, the bayonets and that are a bit thicker this time, so they should stand up to uh, the rigours of getting shipped about, and obviously playing on the war game stable. So yeah, going back to that, the officer in the middle, when he arrived, I think, I remember his sword was broken off just at the hilt, so that was a, a little repair job I had to do. But, to be fair, it was quite an easy repair, and it seems to have stood up well through all the painting, so I'm quite pleased with that. So, as I said, it also has a lovely figure in the middle there. Yeah, I think I showed these guys off when I was just priming them and that. So, yeah, nice to get them all finished. Let me just get a little turn around here, guys, as well. Uh, so yeah, there's a command pack, and then the other pack, there's three, three different horses, and three, the troopers are slightly different, uh, just really the head pose, slight turn of the head, but just enough to make them different, so yeah, very pleased with them indeed. The horses as well, I said, I've noticed with some other manufacturers, uh, that I've used like uh, eagle figures, uh, what else? Even some of the warlord games, uh, pre, especially some of the earlier metal ones, like the British commanders, the uh, British infantry commanders Waterloo and that. The horses were quite thin, I thought, uh, thin at the back as well. But these horses, the proportions seem really nice. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just, I'll give you a wee pick up guys, just to lift up the command stand to get a better look. So yeah, as I say, lovely figures. Yeah, trumpeter there. And as I mentioned before, with these castings, there's very little clean up at all, which is good. Yeah, I said, all that command figures, the sculpts are brilliant, really are. Lovely figures. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the right look through my latest arrival with the Hess Darmst. Uh, yeah, he had Wurtenberg in the 
Wurtemberg Infantry eh, not sorry, not Wurtemberg Wurzburg eh, in the latest Kickstarter because I've already got Perry's Wurzburg I didn't I didn't actually bother getting them but I did get some Wurzburg artillery and I think there's some cavalry I'll just have to go back and double check what I actually ordered but I'm sure there is a, a unit of cavalry and maybe one artillery piece or something for the Wurzburg so I'll add them to my previously painted Perry's Wurzburg figures uh, yeah I quite enjoyed painting the you know, like the checkered sort of pattern around the saddle cloth. I quite enjoyed that actually. It was funny because at first I thought, oh, yeah, how's that going to go? But to be fair, once I got into it, it was quite good. So I've also got a unit, uh, yeah, I think I've got about four or five different Wurttemberg cavalry units to do, all of nine figures each. One of the other ones will be the Guard de Coeur which I'm really looking forward to doing them. I might do them quite soon, actually. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into them with the yellow uniforms, the helmets, and they'll have the sort of checkered pattern around the saddle cloth as well. I've seen the painted versions on Piano War Games' uh, website and also on their Facebook page, and they look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, as do all the figures to be fair. So yeah, hope you like them guys. As I say, I'm really pleased with them. I'm really pleased the way they've painted up and everything. So yeah, great stuff. So I'm looking forward to painting up some more of these Piano War Games figures. So what I'll do guys, I'll just, uh, I'm just clearing in case I knock anything over. Yeah, I've got a busy little workbench again, I think. Probably these figures were on it the last time. Uh, yeah, so if I swing a camera around, you'll see what's going on. I think I showed these. These are the Piano War Games, Wurttemberg Guard Grenadiers. I think they were just primed the last time. So I've now got a few little colours on. Boots, bare skins. Uh, I've done one them around. I've got all the, the backpacks on. Uh, started doing some of the flesh tones on the command part. So yeah, getting them underway. This is a little set, which, yeah, I'm sure they were primed up in the last video. Perry Miniatures Metal Set. It's a British Cavalry Forge set. So that's the three figures, just early stages, just getting some base colours down. And I was gluing this together last night. And yeah, so that's the actual forge. So I just glued it together, I gave it a wee prime. So that's underway, uh, and right at the back of the table over there, you'll see there's some epic scale French infantry. Uh, I'm just finishing off a few of them at the moment, they're over in the other desk, uh, just been varnished the other day, so basin to do. So once I get that done, I'll let you see that as well. So yeah, as I say, a little bit going on there as well, and I was cleaning up some other figures last night. Uh, in fact, i just lay this down. I'll pick up, because I was prime, gluing and priming some figures last night. I was watching something. Uh, yeah, so the one figure that I did pick out of my parcel last night, in the Kickstarter, Piano War Games Price at Crowns. Is it still Price at Crowns? I think it is. Uh, three, and this was the, the miniature that you got three, which is a lovely figure, Napoleon himself. Uh, so I've just, yeah, as I said, there's very little cleaning. Got him stuck on the horse, primed, and then just gave it a, a wash with the null oil just to sort of bring out the details. And it's a lovely figure. And yes, that's probably going to be, what's that, once I paint him, I think that'll be my third Napoleon in my collection. <laughs> and I think I've still got another two to do, different ones. A War Games Foundry one, which I've had for ages. And also, I've got the one with the War War Games. Is it the uh, is it the Paris coach or the... No, the Berlin carriage. 
yeah, I've got that box set which I've had in a long time as well. So I've got a Napoleon figure in there as well. So, <laughs> yeah, can never have too many Napoleons. That's what I say. Uh, and then a couple of figures which I was playing up last night. I picked these out, had these a wee while. These are Perry Miniatures. Napoleonics, British uh, commander. Well, not commanders, officers, mounted officers. Pull it up. Yeah, sorry, I'm just tilting the figure so I can get them in a shot. That's maybe a bit better now. So yeah, uh, lovely sculpts again. That's that one there. So these will get worked on as I'm painting up the other figures. I'm just juggling my hands here, guys. Bear with me. Here's one of the other ones here. Uh, that's another lovely figure. I think these are probably suiting more for the peninsula. But, yeah, they could do for either or, really. So, yeah, that's a nice one. He's got some orders in his hand. Nice finger there. And the last one in that pack of three is this officer with a sword raised, which, again, a lovely figure. So, yeah. I think it helps uh, put in there. I said, I'm priming all my fingers. I mentioned before... The Games Workshop, is it the, uh, the name of that again, I'm just picking it up guys, uh, is it Grace Grace yeah. So yeah, I'm giving it a, a time of that and then I give it a wash with the null oil just to, so I can see all the, the details in the miniature a lot clearer. I think in the past when I painted from dark under coats, I've sometimes been painted away and halfway through the figures I've noticed some little bits and thought, oh. I've never seen that before, <laughs> not until I start sort of painting near it. Uh, so I find this a good way of, uh, yeah. So let's we see everything before I, I actually start putting on the main colours, which, yeah, it, it doesn't take me too long to do, so I find it very useful. So that really is a lovely figure, that one. Uh, yeah, so I'll pop them over at the side, guys. Just over there. And, uh We'll bring back into the shot, just the piano war games. Lee the Jaeger Guard Cavalry. Yeah, as I say, I'm, real, I'm really pleased with them guys. Lovely figures. Uh, yeah, I am painting some other piano war games figures at the moment as well. Uh, some skirmish bases and they are over on the other table so they are just going to get They've been glued onto some bases and they are going to get varnished hopefully sometime today. Uh, yeah, so there's plenty going on. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. If I get a chance to do another video over the next few days, I might do a little a review of the latest Kickstarter project that's been delivered. The Hess Dance figures and that. Uh, once I have a, a look and... See what's kind of sort them out. As I say, they come in uh, we zip plastic zip bags. I mean, they're all sorted into the packs that they're meant to be, but obviously there's no labels or nothing on them, so it just takes a minute to sort through them and see which ones are which. Uh, but once I do that, I'll maybe do a wee a review of them and let you see some of the, the figures, the way how they arrive and everything. That might be quite good. So, yeah, okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, as usual, I say it all the time. I'm watching all you guys' videos. Click the like button. Comment when I can. But uh, yeah, enjoy the hobby, guys. Hope you are too. So yeah, see you in another video soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.